Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial where we are going to be learning on how to use Expensify. To use Expensify, you need to go to expensify.com and uh, you will find the link in the description of this video. So what is Expensify? Now, Expensify is a cloud-based expense software management that helps business track and manage expenses. It offers a variety of features, including receipt scanning. So you can use Expensify to do receipt scanning and automatically extract the relevant information from the receipt, such as the merchant name, date, amount, and category. You can also use Expensify to do expense reporting. And in this, you can uh, include scanned receipts, descriptions of expenses, and any other relevant information. You can also use Expensify to track expenses. And this you can do by category, such as the merchant, the date, and this information can be used to generate reports that show where and how your company is spending its money. And finally, you can also do expense reimbursement. Expensify users can request reimbursement of their expenses. The software automatically sends the request to the appropriate approver. And once the request is approved, the funds are automatically deposited into the user's bank account. So that's so beautiful to know about Expensify. So let's dive into how to use Expensify. So you'll go to Expensify.com and uh, you choose how you would like to connect either through email, phone number, Google or Apple. So in this case, I want to connect using an email. I click on email, then I click, then I put my email and I click on next. So it gives me this notification and this button now changes to join. So I click join and I'm automatically taken to the Expensify inbox. This is where you get first. So let's now go on each of these items and how to use them. If I click on inbox, it brings me to concierge. So, and in this case, like if I look down here, are you here to set up Expensify for your business or just for yourself? So I can choose what I want here. So if I look at expenses, now that I've not set the expenses, you notice what I can also do there. If I look at the reports, you notice I don't have any reports to show. Then if I look at the settings, I'll get to my account or to the policies. So the concierge here helps you to make a few of the settings of the account. So like in this case, are you here to set up Expensify for your business or just yourself? So if I click on the drop down menu, you notice I can either choose business or individual. In this case, we choose the business concierge. So business. And then I can go to the next one. What will you use Expensify for? Choose as many as you would like. So down here, I choose, I want to manage expenses. I want to pay bills. I want to send invoices. I want to book travels. I want to get Expensify card. So you can choose all these so that you can later on decide which one to use. But if you're sure of which ones you want to use, you can choose the selected few. So you click on submit. So once I do that, you notice now that for my concierge, I have the first one where I can automate invoices and collect payments. I have the second one where I can track, approve or pay bills straight from Expensify. I have the third one where I can do reports. Then you scroll downwards, you notice we have where we can add a business bank account and unlock the features there. Then we can sync or export our accounting packages. So, and all this is available and we are going to be doing a few, then you'll be able to explore the others. So let's start with the first one here for invoice. I simply click on this one, the first concierge, automate invoices and collect payments. So I'll click on that. And then down here, I'll click on create my first invoice. And here I can now edit the title of my invoice. So in this case, it has a default name. So I can call it explain me. Then, so with that, I have changed the title of my invoice. Then here, there is no expense, so there's no invoice I'm sending. So to do that, I can add expenses here. So to do that, I'll click on the inner part of this icon. 
and then I'll be able now to add expense to the report. So in this case, if I want to create a new expense now, I click on new expense. I give the merchant a name. In this case, let me say the merchant is Scott Studios. Then I can build the amount here, a thousand Kenyan shillings, but I can also change the currency here. You are free to change this currency. So I can click on Kenyan shillings. Then I can search by category here. Then I can give the description here. Then I can also decide on the distance. Here maybe I can just give the distance for expenses that may need that. And then I can create the distance from the map if I click on this one. In this case, I don't want to add the search details for this expense. So then I can give the description here is for videos. So if I'm satisfied with the details here, I'll click on save. And there we have it. So we have our first invoice added here. So it is to Scott Studio. The amount is 1000 and there is no discount. And remember, I can still add a discount here. So if I want to add the discount, I simply click on that and then I simply type the discount. Maybe the discount is 50. So once I click that, you notice my total has changed to 950. So with that now, I can send my invoice or if I have more expenses for this one, I can still add, add expenses. So I click on send and it gives me this part where I can now give the email to someone. E.g. we have this Tom at Expensify, Tom Allen and all this. So I can just add the email. I can either even type it manually. And if I select, for instance, at this one, and then I can give the memo, give the CC. If I have a due date, I can select it from the calendar. Maybe it's within tomorrow, three days. I can select it there. Once I fill in these details, I simply can click on send. So in this case, I'm not going to be sending this one because it's not a valid one. It's just for demo. So that's how you add invoices and expenses at the same time. But as I said, I can add an expense directly on this end just by clicking on expenses so that now you see we already have our expense that we added through the invoice, but I can just click on new and then I can either create manually or I can scan receipt. Remember in the introduction we said that you can use Expensify to scan receipts and get the figures and those and the data automatically. So I can do it manually or I can scan receipt or I can create multiple. So if for instance, I click on scan receipt, you notice I can upload anything that is scanned. So if I select on this one, for instance, if it was to be a receipt, I just click on open. This Expensify will be able to extract the data. I can also create multiple so that I can select an expense for 2nd June that was maybe at this amount. Then I can also edit this amount, maybe this was $50. Let me put that as 50, this as 40, this as 200. So I can do that to select multiple expenses. But remember, I'll need to add the merchants here Maybe John, Tom, Tim, and Jane. Those are the merchants. Then I click on save. So I'll be able now to add multiple. You now notice we have our multiple expenses added. We have Tim, 40 shillings, John, 50, Jane, 200. So that's how you add multiple expenses on Expensify. Let's finally go to reports. You simply, you can go to inbox and select the concierge that deals with the report. That's one way. But the other way is you can click directly on reports and then you can decide to add a new report or you can decide to have reports for the clients you have had or the invoices you have sent and so on. So you notice here, for instance, we have an invoice to explain me that was 950. We have an expense report of 240 and we have 
an expense report of $50 or 50 shillings. So we can do a new report. So we can do a new report here by clicking on the drop down arrow and we decide which kind of report. Is it an expense report, an invoice or, or bulk import invoices? So again, that's how we can do reports. So if I want a specific report, maybe for instance, an invoice to do with this character or this client, I'll click on that. And you now notice the content here changes. I can even export that. I can copy and I can also delete that. So export to, I can decide to export that to all data expenses level. I can export that to report level. I can export that to basic export. I can also tag the export or use the default CSV. So that's what you can do with the data on Expensify. If I select multiple, like I select all the data I have there, I can still do the same. I can export it, I can tag it, I can do per DM export and all this. So that's how you deal with the data. Finally, if we go to settings of the account, you can now change the settings here for your account, especially the subscription. Here we have the annual subscription and you can also decide to be paying per user. Then you can decide on the number of subscription size up to whichever number of active users you want. And then you can either activate or deactivate auto renewal. Then you can auto increase the subscription size and all that. So that's what you can do with the settings on your on your Expensify. Finally, you can also get the support from Expensify. You simply click on support and for support, you'll have two options. You'll either use concierge, which is basically a 24 seven real time support to answer most of your questions, or you can use the help site where you are going to use a collection of robust self help guides, uh, that are for the best practices. So as you saw in the beginning, we used concierge and we were able to get some guidance. So basically that is how you use Expensify. It's a nice app that will be helping you to do all we have demonstrated. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.